Hey y'all, welcome back to Summer Loren Vlogs. Ooh, you here, you here. I am so incredibly happy you guys stopped by once again. Today I'm doing a get ready with me video. I hate that I just did that. I messed up a bunch of times on my makeup. I forgot steps, but you know what? I am not claiming to be a makeup guru because I am not. Throughout the video, if y'all have tips and tricks that I do not know of, please let me know. And if you have constructive criticism, I would love it because I love makeup and I love learning about it. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. This is my first get ready with me video, so bear with me. Let's get to it. Okay, first things first, I'm going to moisturize my face with the Nutria Neutrogena, <laughs> Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Do, 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 do. Next, I usually go in with the Smashbox um, Primer Water. I really love this stuff because it really does feel like it's super refreshing. Now I'm gonna go in with my Lancome in the shade 100 Ivory Neutral. I just got this foundation not too long ago and I love it. It is not as full coverage as I wish it would be. I like being able to go over with my foundation in one pass and not have to like worry about my redness shining through. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, what should we talk about? <laughs> There's so many things. Let's talk about TV shows. Currently, I love Manifest and This Is Us. Those are the two shows that I'm watching that are like streaming. Yeah, Manifest, I feel like the actors are kind of like amateurs to be honest. <laughs> I feel like the actors are kind of amateurs. Sometimes during the show I'm just like you know when you're watching something and you kind of just start feeling embarrassed for the actors. This sounds so bad. They do an amazing job but you just know it's kind of cheesy and it's ugh, it's cringy. I kind of feel like a lot of the show is but for the most part I think it's pretty great. This is us though. I don't think I could say a bad thing about that show. Well, actually sometimes I feel like it gets a little slow with um, Kevin and his drug addiction and stuff and him trying to find his dad. I just feel like it's super drawn out. Like, okay, we get it. I forgot to prime, it's fine. We'll skip that part. Now I'm gonna go in with, I just used this once so far. I've been using my Shape Tape concealer, but it's been making me feel super cakey recently. So I just switched to this. My cousin was using it and she said she liked it. So um, I started trying it. It's by Maybelline. It's Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. So I'm just gonna go in, put some layer. One thing I feel like this does though, it kind of like smudges off your foundation. That's the one thing I don't really like about this applicator. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're supposed to like pat. I don't know. <laughs> okay, gonna go like that. Gonna look like a crazy person. It's okay. It's okay. Good enough. Ooh, let's talk about Christmas. I love Christmas. <laughs> I don't know if some of y'all saw on my Snapchat story, but my dog Winter also loves Christmas. Not only because I'm forcing her to love Christmas because of her name, but um, yesterday on my story, as you saw, she was like super obsessed with our Christmas tree. She won't leave them alone. I think she's trying to eat the cranberries that are on there. Anyways, Christmas. Would it be like super crazy if I made a video of me ordering my dog Christmas gifts? <laughs> That's what I wanna do. So next I'm gonna go in and powder my whole face because I hate the feeling of being sticky. And I like to touch my face a lot. Not like, <sighs> you know, I rest my hand. I don't know. I just hate feeling sticky and like I'm gonna ruin my makeup. So I like to powder everywhere. I also just got this like last week. It's the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. It doesn't dry me out too much, I feel like, but it also has pretty good coverage. I feel like I'm using less powder than I was before. Just all around, I, I feel like it's pretty great. I also got this brush, which I love. Too Faced Mr. Right Powder Brush. It's cute, it has a little bow. Oh my God, a little bow. Setting your whole face with powder also helps um, your bronzer, your blush, contouring, like literally everything else blend easier and it doesn't really smudge. When I don't use powder, like to set my whole face, my foundation smudges as soon as I try and put on any type of contouring or bronzer. And please let me know if it's just because I'm doing something wrong. Please give me tips. Always open to suggestions and constructive criticism. Bring it on. Back to Christmas. Christmas in my family is crazy. We have multiple trees. They're fake trees, so like my parents have like collected them over the years. We set up for Christmas the day after Thanksgiving. It's a whole day thing because it's just so much decoration. My mom has a bunch of Santa figurines that like literally go all over the first floor. There's like two on every surface. 
at least. <laughs> If you don't like Santa, don't come to my house. You will be triggered. I love Christmas, so I don't mind it. it forces us to have some family time, which is good because my family's always been super busy. I have three brothers and we all played sports like all year round. Once I reached age like 12, we never had a lot of family sit down dinners unless it was on the weekend just because we were all out until 8.30 at night. My mom was just constantly running around driving us. She is a saint. Wow, I got so off topic. I'm probably making crazy weird faces, but that's okay. Okay, okay. My parents asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I was like, ooh, a ring light. I have two like stand-up lights here and here right now. And I think they're pretty helpful. Like I can film whenever. It doesn't have to be like during the daylight and I don't have to set up in the perfect spot. But having a ring light, I feel like will really bring the lighting together. <laughs> I like found one that was on sale and I like sent my dad the link. Wow, I look ghostly. A little on the neck. Do, 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 do. Oh, I keep forgetting about my tea. Mm -hmm. I kind of have a problem where I forget about my tea until it's lukewarm. And then I'm like, dang it, I need to go get more tea. So then I go put a little hot more, more hot water or I add a new tea bag and then I forget about it again. So that's, Pretty powdered, but I will fix it later. I like drench myself in setting spray. Next, I am going to be going in with a Marc Jacobs Tantastic in the shade 104 Omega Bronze. It's really delightful. Yes, okay. I'm going in with my Morphe Go Brush. That's what it's called. My friends call this the microphone brush. <laughs> my one um, really good friend from Alabama will literally come in, my, every time she's in my room, she takes it and she just sings karaoke like this. Na, 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 na. Literally for 30 minutes. She just entertains herself that way. AB, you know who you are. So yes, just going like this. My cousins and I are doing a gift exchange. We use the um, website Elfster, which is actually really cool. Each person goes on there and registers with their email, obviously. Oh, I'm like really bronzing up. Perfect. And then you can create your own wish list, which is really awesome. You like literally search it and it comes up. It's like super convenient. When someone gets me, it automatically pairs you with someone and it'll send you the email. So when that person gets the email with my name, they'll see my wish list. And if I didn't make a wish list or they wanted to get me something else, they could send me a question, which is really cool. It's just makes Secret Santa a lot more convenient. Okay, also right here has been creasing a lot on me recently. If you have any tips on that, I mean, besides like baking, please let me know. And it like, Creases to where it makes me look like I have a mustache. And I'm, I mean, I hope I don't have a mustache. <laughs> Help a sister out. So I am bronzed. Now I go in with contour. I'm going to go in with my Lorac Pro Contour Kit. It is pretty beat up like all of my makeup. Please don't be super grossed out by it. <laughs> I'm going to go in the shade Light Contour with this Target brush, I think it is. Just do a few taps and then a little starting from my ear and blending in. Man, I could really go for a soy milk latte right now. I just love them so much. I have this weird obsession of them. <laughs> I could just drink them literally all day long. Only from Starbucks though. The other places kind of let me down, not gonna lie. It is a little disappointing. Now I go back in with my Cover Fix. I keep saying Cover Fix. It's the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. And I take the other side of my beauty blender, I put a bunch in the lid, it's like dab. And I make a line, kind of like clean up my contour. My hair just got in that thing. Okay. I make a line from my ear to the like middle of my lip. And then down too. Yes. And that's really the only place I like set and or bake. Okay, so while that is working, Sometimes I go ahead and put on blush, sometimes I wait, but I feel like doing it now. So I'm going with my Marc Jacobs, Marc Jacobs blush. This is Kink and Kisses. I'm gonna put a little bit here, and then I go back in with this and kind of blend it out when I use too much, and I feel like I just use too much, so we're doing that. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I right now use the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit, but I really loved using the Brow Wiz by Benefit, but I lost one of my makeup bags, and I'm really sad actually, because a few of my eyeshadow brushes, my Brow Wiz, 
and one of my mascaras was in there and I used to I've used this for about a few years but I like just switched to the brow wiz and I just like it a lot better than this I also have started to go um and get my eyebrows waxed and tinted at Ulta because they have the you know benefit brow bar there and I love it because <laughs> I have really blonde eyebrows I really need to get a wax right now please ignore it what am I doing with my life good question right now well I am taking a semester off from University of Alabama and I am here in Maryland um, where I grew up right now I am majoring in communicative disorders down there communicative disorders is a segue to speech pathology, which is what I want to do as a job. I want to be a speech pathologist, probably in elementary school. You know, speech pathologist, if you don't know what that is, it's, it's a speech therapist. Good enough. So now we're going to go in with my Smashbox, hashtag shape matters eyes. This one's also kind of beat up. I'm gonna go in with the colors. Well, I always go in with the color vanilla and put that all over my eyelid. If I can only find my brushes. My little brother and his girlfriend are decorating, oh, and my mom, are decorating Christmas cookies right now. But I was like, shoot, I really need to film a video because I didn't last week. <laughs> and I also wanna wear makeup because I have it in a few days and I just enjoy doing it. So I'm trying to like kind of quickly do this. Crap, I went like way too far in my eye with this. <sighs> Back it up. Back it up. Well, that ain't good. I definitely used the wrong brushes for these like 100%. I don't have enough brushes, especially since I lost a few of my eyeshadow brushes. So it's kind of a mess when I do my makeup. <laughs> so right now I'm going in with, with desert and like the half outer of my eye and a little bit on my brow bone. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with earthy, more precise in the very corner. So now I go in with my Morphe 3, 35F palette going in with these two shades in the middle of my eyelid all the way kind of I bring it up a little bit I try and open up my eyes this way and this way I'll show you how I bring out my eye that way But I'm trying to open up this way by going lighter because I I do have pretty hooded eyes So I just go in the middle and I kind of really pack it on there Definitely use a padding motion. I feel like this is like a makeup tutorial more than I get ready with me. I go on the inner teardrop with it. I go back to my Smashbox palette and I go back into Earthy and then I put it underneath my eye in the very corner and shade it in a little bit. Wow, I have so much fallout right now, it's redonkulous. Also, my skin is real flaky because this Maryland weather, man, it is so dry. So this is how I attempt at opening up my eye. So there is that. Now I'm gonna go in with highlighter which I also just dropped my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit today. And look at it, y'all, it is demolished. I just dropped it before filming this video. It is so sad. Starburst is the only one that remains. So we're gonna go in with that one. Yeah, we're gonna go like that, go in like that. A little on my nose, do, do, do. A little right here above my brow bone, even though I probably don't really wanna bring highlight to my eyebrows now since they are monsters growing out of my face, but it's fine. Okay, now I'm taking a different highlighter. This is the Winky Lux Charm Holographic Highlighter. Um, I got this in one of my Etsy boxes. It's super cute and tiny and pink. It's pretty. I'm gonna go in with that smaller like dense brush and put it on my tear duct, on my tear ducts, inside my eye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Along my inner corner. <laughs> which I feel like it's not doing much actually. Is it? I don't know. And then also right on my brow bone. Before I forget, time to wipe this off. Been baking long enough. Should I put on fake lashes? Kind of really bad at doing it right now. We're gonna try it. We're gonna do it. These are Fox Mink Wispies. I think they look kind of long now that I'm looking at it, but that's what I'm gonna have. Oh wait, these look shorter actually. I mean, they still look pretty long but they look shorter than my other ones that I have on my desk, which were just ridiculously long. I was like, I can't wear these. Cannot do it. I'm gonna go ahead and measure, see what I need to cut. So I bought the House of Lashes eyelash adhesive, and I think it works pretty great. Okay, now I'm gonna wait for this to get tacky. I have an eyelash um, applicator, around here somewhere, but I don't really love it that much. Kind of disappointing to me, actually. 
people passing, children laughing, meeting smile after smile. Do do do. Are those the lyrics? I don't even know if those are the lyrics. Who knows? I know, like putting on lashes just takes practice, but oh my god, let's do this. Wish I knew how to break the spell. Got to sing no, 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 sir. At least you could say that I tried. Hair looks swell. Is it swell or is it fine? I don't know. What's the sense of hurting my prime? <laughs> Once the science I heard I'm on prom. Oh, before we're getting, me and my sister-in-law are getting nails done, we're going to this coffee shop, Barking Mad. And literally everyone from my old church goes there, works there, whatever. You run into like 20 people each time. Wow, well is that hard or what? Y'all, please comment if you have any helpful tips how to apply eyelashes, cause Man, was that a struggle. <sighs> well, there's that. Okay, so now I go in with my NYX Professional Makeup. Is that what it's called? No. NYX, it's a, it's a white eyeliner. I just go in my waterline and it also helps open up the eyes. You gotta be very careful of not getting it on your mascara. Oh crap, you know what I also forgot to do? I also forgot to spritz my whole face with setting spray. Now I gotta worry about my mascara running. Now I'm clearly in need of more coffee. I kind of drench it until I feel hydrated. Woo! I am drenched. And then I just fan like so for quite a bit. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1. Oh, I have so much makeup on my shirt. Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 Replenishing Prime and Setting Prey. Prey. <laughs> Spray. Blah. Okay. And usually, honestly, like when I do this process, my makeup is on. It is set for a while, man. Okay, this is the finished look. No, I'm just kidding. I have no lips. Honestly, I just take a makeup wipe from Neutrogena and I wipe off my lips because I hate the feeling of lipstick and my lips are pretty colored anyways. People are really shocked when this is my natural lip color. <laughs> Today though, for the purpose of the video, I think I'm gonna wear my lipstick that I wear in all my videos. It's a color that like, it can fade out and I don't really have to reapply. I'm not streaky like, oh, half my lip is red and half of my lip is my lip, my regular color. It just fades out and I don't, it's, you know, it's not a big deal. The only problem is with doing this, like I wipe off too much of my makeup. On this side, I just wiped off like a lot more than what I needed to do. So what I usually use in my, um, I don't really, I don't wanna show you guys the inside of this tube because you're gonna be so mad at me how I treat my makeup. <laughs> but I usually use the Urban Decay Naked Cream Lipstick. It's a tube lipstick. Granted, I've had this for a really long time. It is not thriving, it is surviving. Um, I guess it's close to my natural lip color. It's a little bit brighter pinky. Alrighty, people. Now that I'm looking in the mirror, I can't really see my bronzing or contour or blush. Kind of weird me out. I feel like I need to put on more. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is my first get ready with me video. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this little casual chit chat, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope y'all have a great day and be on the lookout for my next video. Hopefully it'll be out soon. Whoa. Okay. Wow, this is a fail.